I would also like to report that the preliminary closing of the books for 2016 show the city is no longer in a deficit mode and actually has a surplus of approximately $25,000. I think we all can breathe a nice sigh of relief. I would like to congratulate everyone here, all elected officials, all employees, our residents, our businesses, everyone who worked so hard to accomplish this goal. We must continue practicing our sound budgetary uh, and spending practices to continue this trend. I just want to say that it is, even though it's difficult, I personally take it as a privilege to represent every citizen in this community. Whether you're for me, against me, have no opinion. Um, this council and I, the police chief, everyone here, we work for you. That's who we need to serve. And I'm going to agree with the sentiments of Ms. that have been said tonight. We need to take down the rhetoric. We need to take down the volume and really try and do a little bit more homework in the prior to getting here and work together. I was very encouraged this week that Councilman Johnson and Councilman Wheeler came and, and spoke with me. It, it's a beginning um, again. And Councilman Benton, I thank you for always challenging me. And um, you wouldn't believe how many times <coughs> she'll tell me, are you sure? I think you're wrong. You better prove this to me. Um, so I'd like to thank everyone who's willing to talk. There, I, I want to say I agree about getting financials on a timely manner. We are, we've worked, we have crossed many hurdles and financial hurdles. We had a huge problem with the DEQ loan, a threat of default. We had an overwhelming deficit. We had a budget that was discombobulated. We've had to rebuild the city piece by piece, and it's taken a little doing. And I'm very proud of all the hard work people have put in. There's not a lot of men, there's not many individuals who would come to this city and potentially face what I call the firing squad. Um, that's meant to be taken lightly, not, you know, viciously. And they put themselves out there, and I thank them, all of our professionals, all of our employees. And I, the council does it too. I do it. You have to just take what's coming. So I'd like to just thank everyone, and we're just about done.